I'm Rohit. I'm a faculty member at the Department of Computer Science and Engineering here at IIT Delhi. So the Winter School was a five-day event, which was meant primarily to introduce undergraduate and master's students to theoretical computer science. Uh, because in many colleges across the country, you don't have uh, high-quality courses in theoretical computer science, so students don't get exposed to uh, uh, theory, theoretical CS, and that was one of the aims of this event to make people aware of what theoretical CS is and also make them aware of the research opportunities in theoretical CS. So the title of this talk is Fun with Polynomials. Uh, fun is not guaranteed, but polynomials are guaranteed. Okay. The bank manager wants to split the secret into two secrets, S1 and S2. Give one secret to Alice, uh, who's one of the employees and give the other secret to Bob, who's another employee. You can't just blindly cut it up into X number of pieces and give it to people and hope that it's fair or it's a good decision. Right? You have to respect their preferences. You take any problem with the polynomial time algorithm, right? you take sorting, you take uh, whatever, whatever you have, uh, maximum flow, matching, anything, so you can always come up with a circuit for it. Uh, we didn't have to like cover a, like a specific curriculum, we just wanted to introduce certain uh, topics about theoretical CS to the students and you know get them excited about theoretical CS. So uh, the lectures were designed to be more interactive, more hands-on. We even had some tutorial and interaction activities after the lectures. Uh, so that was sort of the overall goal. Now, okay, so they're multiple from X to S complement. What do you think? Which is the similar case? Either that is exactly one from X to S complement or there are uh, from a bit of audience of I mean, it's not clear what this means, but I mean, it's first. It could mean many things, right? Like, the best. Uh, <laughs> every possible group from your source is which you need. Every day you get to know how much time it took for you to travel from one place to another. And you're trying to figure out the group of Once you make this realization, then people start thinking of it. And once you have a first algorithm that beats the classical one, millions of dollars So these students were uh, uh, pre-final year undergraduate and master's students from uh, various backgrounds, so computer science, maths, statistics, etc. And uh, they were from many different colleges uh, all across the country. So in total, I think they were about uh, around 50 students from like 17 different colleges in India. So various IITs, uh, NITs, ISERs, triple IITs, and other colleges. The rules of the game are the following. I'm going to spin these wheels one after the other. Okay, so I spin this wheel, some number will come up. And now you need to make a choice. Either you accept that as your reward, or you say no, okay, and in that case I'll go. So the solution to the bipartite matching problem is so I give you this bipartite graph and the solution is a subset of variance such that every vertex is matched. So we had a lot of interaction between faculty and students over lunches and coffee breaks every day but also we had dedicated sessions so one of the sessions was uh, like a group date session where uh, one faculty member and like five or six students formed a group and then they sort of went outside either you know took a stroll in the campus or, or outside the campus and so on um, and then uh, on the final day of the winter school we had a couple of panel discussion sessions uh, between the faculty members and the students uh, and these were aimed at uh, informing the students about what a research career is in the first place and, and specifically uh, about research careers in computer science and theoretical computer science in India and as well as at IIT Delhi. So in case you know students are interested in pursuing a research career themselves, uh, they get a sort of nice guidance from both junior as well as senior faculty members. We heard back from students after the winter school, uh, there was a lot of like very strong positive feedback. The camp was perfect, everything was amazing. The wide range of topics which were touched upon during the lectures, long breaks which allowed for student-student and student-faculty interaction, the excursion with the professors, and the two research sessions were extremely informative. Professors were extremely friendly and approachable. Everything down to the last minute details was perfect.
I'm thankful to IIT Delhi for inviting me to the camp. So we are in touch with the students, and uh, we are hoping that you know maybe some of them will actually uh, come back and join us as research students in, in PhDs and masters program. So we have a very strong theoretical CS group here. Uh, if a student is interested in pursuing research, they should by all means get in touch with us and apply to our research programs, the PhD programs and the masters programs. And uh, I'm sure uh, you know they'll they'll be on the path to an excellent research career from there on.